Hello friends, we are demonstrating modulating electrohydraulic actuator of Rotex. All the components in this actuator are self-contained in an EXD enclosure. The different components are the EHF head mounted on a double acting scotch oak actuator. We have an accumulator for backup pressure. We have a motor to maintain the pressure and we have an oil tank which acts as an oil reservoir. We have a mechanical selector switch to manually open and close the valve. And we have flow control valves to vary the speed of open and close operation. The EHF head has a LCD cover which protects from UV from sun. The EHF head has this LCD that displays all the process values, all the alarm indications, all the SOV indications, the open close indications and the different modes of operation. Presently it is in local mode. Display is showing the alarm signal loss because the remote input signal is not given. As soon as I will give the remote input signal 4 milliampere, the alarm will go away. Now we can change the signal and proportionally the valve will open and close as per the remote input signal. I am giving 25% input, 8 milliampere, the valve has opened to 25%. I am giving 50% input, 12 milliampere, and the valve has opened 50%. Now 75% input, and the valve has opened 75%. And now 20 milliampere means fully open. The valve has opened fully in tight shut off. Now I will reduce the milliampere input. Now it's again reduced to 75% input and the valve has again closed by 25%. Now it is closed to 50%. Now it's closed to 25%. And now it's fully closed, tight shut off valve is closed to seat position. Now we will see the valve position changing with respect to the remote input signal. It is now fully closed, as you can see. Now I will change the input signal to 25%. The valve is open 25%. Now the valve is opened 50%. Now the valve is opened 75%. And now the valve is fully opened. Now this open condition is also displayed both on the TFT display and the mechanical dome switch provided up on the EHF head. Now I will close the valve remotely in the same way. Now the valve is closed, closing to 75%. Now close to 50%. Now close to 25%. And now the valve is fully closed to 
and it is shown in the DFT display and on the mechanical indication also. Now we will carry out manual operation using this manual selector switch. We will rotate this selector switch to the open side. You can see the valve has now opened manually. Now we can also manually close the valve by rotating this manual selector switch to the close side. You can see the valve has now closed. The valve has been closed by rotating this switch to the closed side. Now we will check how to access the menus in this actuator. To go into inside the menu, we have to press the red knob downwards and press the blue knob up and down this way. Now you have to enter the password. If you enter the wrong password, it will give you a wrong password message. Here, presently the password is 0000, so we will press red knob four times downwards. Red knob acts as the enter key to go into different sub menus and blue knob is for navigating and changing any values inside the parameters. We will first go into the basic setup. In the basic setup, you can see there are some parameters. There is a parameter called accumulator setting, which shows max and minimum pressure between which the motor will operate. This is factory set and need not be changed. Now, there are different parameters here after the basic setup, like calibration where you can carry out the calibration of the actuator fail safe configuration here we can set the fail safe for different faults advanced setup has a configuration for relays and diagnostics will display all the diagnostic information we'll go into fail safe configuration to see what is set for signal loss it is set as fail close that means that if the signal is not available from remote input, the valve will close. Similarly, for other faults, fail safe can be set. Now, in advanced setup, we have digital output where we can set relays as per different events. There are different options given inside this menu like close limit, open limit, any fault and so on. There are such many events being given here which you can explore. Such eight relays can be configured and you can set whatever events you require. There are other parameters also like fault settings. In diagnostics, you can get the status of the relay inside this control menu. You can see that there are no relays turned on, but the relay 8 is turned on. So it is set for close limit, therefore it is turned on. Then we can go into status 1, which shows status of different events. Here you can see close limit is on. In status 2, you can see 
what is the maximum and minimum position and pressure and other parameters during the operation. In alarms, you can see different status of alarms. So like ESD, mains fail, thermostat rate, there are such many alarms that are being displayed. Like signal loss, stall, pump failure, hydraulic failure, low pressure, SOV failure, position over range, under range, and so on. We have event lock facility where you can see different events that has occurred recently. So it stores last 32 events. There is a security menu where you can change the password by changing the value here using red knob we can press enter and go ahead in this way we have shown the entire basic operation of the actuator if you want more information related to the actuator, you can visit our website and refer our instruction operational manual.